Hello and welcome to the fundamentals of electrical power systems for biorefineries. Today I will give you a short comprehension and insight into the field of system stability. The system stability relies on the law of conservation of energy, which is always valid. The law of conservation of energy says the energy in the system is always constant, all the time. And that means that the derivative, which means the power, is always constant when it fluctuates from one part of the system into the other. So, these technical processes in networks propagate with the speed of light, and there is a strong relationship between energy and frequency, and I will explain you how. When, for example, there's a loss of energy, a loss of power in a system, the frequency will go sharply down with a rate of change of frequency, which you can see here, which is minus eight times the deficit in per unit, and this comes out in hertz per second. And since the regulators have to come up and cope with this rapid change of frequency in order to keep the frequency constant, they have only one second of time to do this. And the networks, in the network dynamics must be mastered even in the case of component failure. And that means resilience. I will show you what resilience means. When I press into my stomach, you see, it will come out when I release it. And that is resilience. I will show you this with the example of a hydropower plant. I take hydropower plants and not gas power plants, steam power plants or any other because they have a very simple law of the input energy into the process, into the energy conversion process, convert the primary energy, which in this case is the energy of the water, stored high up in a tank, into electrical energy. So as we can see here, the energy that is converted from the water when it goes out to the turbine is given by the constant height and the the rate of the volume that is flowing through this valve. This is the regulatory valve and this valve is controlled by this centrifugal pendulum which is coupled to the generator. Now, what happens if we have an excess of energy demand and power demand in a system? It is the same as if you go in a car and you come steep up a hill and you do not change anything with a throttle valve in the motor, that means the car will slow down. And the same happened in electrical power system. So that means the turbines, as well as the generators, will slow down in the same time as the kinetic energy of these rotating masses is converted in electrical power. They will slow down, and what happens here? In this pendulum, when it slows down, the walls will come together, and by way of this lever mechanism, it opens in the same way this throttle valve, more water goes to the turbine and the turbine takes up speed and puts out more power. And that means less speed means less frequency and that means more power. The whole process can be shown by a simple diagram which is called the frequency versus power diagram which we can see here in this slide. That means when the power demand in such a system goes up, increases, comes to the right side, then the frequency will go down. And that means the power conversion from the primary process will be stepped up in order to keep the frequency stable. But in any case, there will stay a slight frequency deviation. But the system is stable. Now it may be interesting to see what happens with the frequency when the power demand in an electrical grid goes up and down. For example, if you see what happens to the frequency when the load in the early morning hours begins to rise till it reaches the peak at noon and goes down to the low load in the early morning hours again. So you can see as the load goes up and down, the frequency does the same but vice versa. So the frequency is reduced and then it goes up and recovers again. And the context of this straight line is called the droop. The droop is the ratio between the rate, rate change of frequency versus the change of power. The next one, if stability is lost, is something about blackout. 
Blackout can have two main reasons. One is in case of a power system fault, which may happen in the extremely high voltage, in the lower voltages, and so on. Then it may happen that you have a split of the system so that the energy that is produced and the power that is produced in the left part here cannot get to the consumers down here in the right part. So that means the consumers have no infeed of energy and that means the frequency will go down very rapidly. The regulators have no chance to do anything about that. By the way, they are on the wrong side of the grid, so they will not see that. The frequency goes down, you have no power anymore and no voltage anymore. That is a system breakdown. Another system breakdown that may be uh, coming up in the future even more is the so-called system breakdown to the missing low voltage right through capability. So what does it mean low voltage right through capability? In case you have a short circuit on a very high voltage level in the upper levels of the energy system, then at the fault point itself you don't have any voltage anymore. So the voltage is zero here. And this zero voltage propagates downstream to, to all the consumers and each ring main unit that is here given by these dark circles. So that means nobody here sees any voltage anymore. And that means that all these generators that have these decentralized infeed, they have no synchronizing voltage anymore. And that leads in many cases to the loss of stability. When there is no voltage, there is no power exchange between a generator and the system. So the system is not kept, kept energized anymore and the generators trip out as well. So this is the low voltage right through capability induced breakdown. A short representation of the dynamics shows it here in greater detail. We have the grid, we have the no voltage at the fault point. So that means the voltage at the terminals of the generator goes down. And when it goes down, the power exchange between the system and the generator comes down as well. And that means that the power cannot be exported from the turbine, which is situated here, into the grid. So that means the power that is converted is turned into kinetic energy. And that means that the generators turn quicker and quicker. So the frequency goes up. And when the voltage comes back after the fault has been tripped here, so it will be tripped there, then the turbine is on a too high speed and it may not be in synchronism with the rest of the system anymore. And that is the blackout. So this was the overview and a short comprehension about system stability. I thank you very much.